Hey guys, it's Con B, and I'm here with another Rec Room Studio tutorial. I've been getting a lot of requests lately, and it seems like you guys want to learn a bit about how to use the Player HUD script for Rec Room Studio. So, for example, you're playing a game and you want like a customized maybe health bar or some sort of image showing on each player's screen. Well, you're in luck because I'm about to show you how to use it. It's going to be very similar to the Canvas interaction script, which I also posted and I'll have the link to in the description of this video. But without further ado, I'm going to just go through an example of how to set, set up a health bar, a custom one, and link it up in Rec Room and show you how that works. All right, let's go to Studio. All right, so right now I'm just in a completely empty room that I just created. I'm going to begin by adding an empty object. And I'm going to call this player HUD. Now I'm going to create a prefab by dragging it into my scene and going over to the inspector, opening the prefab and adding the rec room object script. I'm also going to add a box collider. You could use really any type of collider, but I always go for a box collider. Set it to decoration and we have our base. So next up we'll want to right click and add a canvas. All right, so this canvas, you could create a world space canvas like I showed in the previous tutorial. But in this case, we're going to keep screen space overlay on. And that just means it's going to take up the player's entire screen, or at least this box will. And just a side note, it depends on what kind of device you're playing on. So like for Quest, the the HUD, it might, it might be a bit smaller or larger than it would be on a mobile device versus a computer. So just keep that in mind. You might have to play around with some of the size settings. All right, now we have our canvas and I'll rename this health bar. I'm going to add a script and this time it's going to be the Rec Room Studio HUD canvas script. Okay. We'll also want to get rid of our graphic raycaster because you cannot click on the screen split space. You That would just be for if you had a world space. So we'll remove that component. All right, so next up, we're going to want to add a few more items. We'll want to add an image and we'll rename this border. So this is gonna be the border of our health bar. And I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. All right, let's assign a sprite. So in this case, I'm just going to use a simple square sprite. You can make it custom if you have some additional assets that you want to use. But for now, it's going to be a simple black border. Let's duplicate this and we'll call it red. And this will be the background when we're out of health and you guessed it we're going to change it to red and we're also going to change the size so that we have that nice border effect all right next up we're going to duplicate red and create a green rectangle and change the color to green but what we're also going to want to do is go down to our image type and change that to filled. So if I, well, actually you have to change your fill method as well. I just realized. So we'll want a horizontal fill. So if I'm at zero, it's a red bar. And as I go up to one, it fills up the screen. It could also be a little bit fancier and add a text. I will just, scale this down quite a bit and I'll just call this player health and we'll have that set up I'll also 
probably just add maybe an icon, a heart icon over here, just to show that it is your health bar. And for that, I'm going to go to UI and I'm going to select raw image. And I have a heart already in my assets, but you could add one from just an online, an online source. And let's move that over. And let's change the color to red. All right, that looks pretty good. Again, you could play around with the different fonts and colors, but for me, this is my player health bar right now, and this is how it's going to work. All right, so a few more things that I did not mention is for all of these items, I'm going to specifically make sure that my rec transform is set to the center. Some people might have different methods how to use this. Basically, it's just where it's being anchored on the screen. The reason why I use the center is because, as I said before, the Quest players and PC players and mobile players, they all have different vantage points. And if you, I, well, at least from personal experience, I found that if you do not set it to the middle, that it might be cut off on some of those platforms. So just keep that in mind. And all right, now let's add some of our events. We're going to add a load event and we'll call this player health. And let's link that to the green bar. So that's what we're going to be changing. And we'll go to image fill amount. All right, so the default value is going to be zero, but we'll make it interactive so that you could increase that all the way to the one and full health. So, so that's basically it. So you have your play a HUD, which is the empty object where you have your rec room script. You then have your health bar, which has the HUD canvas. And then you have your different elements that will comprise of your health bar. So we have the border, the red background, the green that will change horizontally. We have the text of just the player health, and then we have just our little heart icon. So lastly, let's go back, hit save, and we'll want to click on the player HUD and remake the object board. All right, let's go into studio and I'll show you how to hook it up. All right, guys, so here we are in Rec Room Studio. You'll see that I have an execution for player health and a single float, which I did not actually name this event. So yeah, this is going to be our health float. And I'm going to not show you how to hook it up to an entire PVP because that would be a really long video, but I'll show you how to generally use it and connect it to the studio chip. So let's start with a button and just place that over here and this will just change the health and we'll have well, not an integer vet variable, we'll want a float variable. And we'll just put that over here and we'll call this health. There we go. And we'll put an add chip. And this will add to our health and we'll have a subtract trip. And that'll subtract our health. All right. Next up, let's just clone the button. So the top one will be for adding health. The bottom will be for subtracting. And let's hook this up. All right, so if you press the button, you get your health. You want your health plus, say, 0.1. Because again, we're only going up to one, a full uh, integer. And we'll want to link that back to our health. So each time we press the button, our health will go up by 0.1. Next up, let's link that over to our chip. And so you'll see here, the more I press, the higher the 
green bar fills up. And let's do the same for the subtraction. So I'll actually want to clone my health chip. And let's bring that down. And we'll do the same exact thing, but just subtracting. So every time we press the button, we'll want to subtract 0.1 from our health. And we do not have to link this up because the health should be linked to this health variable above. So, but we will we'll want, we'll want to actually link up the execution though. So whether or not we add or subtract, it'll execute. So here's subtraction, addition, you could go all the way down to zero, or you could go all the way up to one. All right, guys, so I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for further videos, you could leave a comment as well. You could use this tutorial really as a just just as a beginning base for how do you set up your player HUD, but be creative. You, you could use some really cool sprites and different assets that the online community has to offer. And there's, there's a lot of more things you could do with, with the player HUD, but now you guys know how to hook it up and get started. So begin playing around with it and let me know what you make what kind of rooms you decide to make with this. All right, that's all I have for today. I'll see you later.